Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video that you're about to see now. Just make sure that you subscribe and click on the little bell because that's the only way to get notifications. Skill factor, who is a skillful factor, says, Hey, I have a question. If there are WordPress jobs that want to hire you, should you take it even though you're still learning and why well, I'm getting good with React? What does <laughs> having a good job with getting an offer with WordPress and React have to do with anything? Like, <laughs> listen, if you're getting off, right? If you're getting offers, just take the damn, excuse me, take the damn job, man. Like, I keep hearing people saying, like, oh, man, I don't know if I should take it. If you never worked as a developer, you don't really have a choice. That's your first job. I see people that come in and be like, oh, man, I'm just going to wait until the right job. I'm going to wait until this perfect place. And it's like, nah, man. Go ahead. The first job that hires you, take it. And then from there, you're going to have all the options that you want. But at first, it's like, who the hell is you to be choosing which job you're going to take? Like, to be honest, I'm just being real with you. You know, it's like you're self-taught. You're some random dude on the Internet uh, learning stuff online. Like, that's how companies think, right? I'm being honest with you. That's how companies think. And I know because I've been in both sides. You know, the side of being a developer trying to get my first job and then being somebody who is a senior developer hiring new you know new junior developers who are either coming in from with an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree in computer science and guys who are coming in with just like hey I watch a, a team treehouse boot camp whatever a Udemy freaking text whatever right so <laughs> get your foot in the door man like just get in there Stop ask, asking and, and worrying about, man, I want to be doing, you know, I've seen, <laughs> this is crazy. I've seen some guys saying, that, man, I want to be working, in, you know, with Golang and this is what I want to focus and maybe later on I want to focus on Python. And it's like somebody was trying to hire me as a front-end developer, but I, I declined the job because I want to become a, a Golang developer. And it's like, bro, like, what are you talking about? Like, somebody trusted you and you're going to wait here until that that perfect that perfect job out there like it doesn't work like that just get hired in any company then from there you're good and then after you're there for like a few months then you start applying to your your dream jobs but guys this is your first job nobody knows you you get what i'm saying that's like you come to a block think about it like this it's like you come to a block nobody knows you and then you tell somebody hey man i'm trying to cop sign Dude, nobody knows you. Nobody's, nobody is vouching for you. Like, we don't know you. Like, you're not going to get nothing on the block. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's just how it is. That's real life. You know, and even though this, the corporate world, you know, but nobody wants somebody who, who doesn't even know what they're doing with, with their code. You know, they're not going to trust you. You get what I'm saying? So if a company does trust you, then be grateful, take that job, and then from there, move on. Hey guys, this video is brought to you by viewers like you and people that support our website, CodingFace.com. Go check it out. Over 20 courses in there that's going to guide you to become a developer from the beginning to becoming a pro.